Okay, sorry about that, I just remembered I had to do something. Um, anyways. Were they? Savoy. Did they just recently do that? I thought they were part of the HRE. Maybe not. I don't know, are they at war? Yes, they are. I guess... Do they start out like that? Maybe they do. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Um, anyways. See, I think I do want to go to war against uh, them for Foy right now. I did remember to ask my court, right, or council. Yep. Um, one thing you have to look out for one of your sieging places. Um, make sure you don't siege somewhere that has a disease. Um, your king, or your duke, or earl, or count. I'm gonna say king, though, because I'm just used to that. I don't know why. Um, but make sure that there's not a disease going on right there. Because you're person, your king, your count, your earl, your duke, does lead the troops. They are going into battle with you. It is a problem um, if you do have them going through somewhere with, say, the Black Plague. Um, that's not going to come up yet. It's not going to come up for a few hundred years. But um, you know, if they have like typhus, um, typhoid fever, measles, something like that, you can send them in, but if you don't have to, I'd really recommend not doing it. Um, vassal are getting, vassals are getting angry because my vassal always raids for too long. They'll say that a lot. I, I try to disregard it unless it gets too bad. So they're going to... Sieging in this game in EU3. Once we start sieging, which I'll do after I kill these guys and possibly these guys at times. And if we get there before they leave or not. Which we might. Hold on, let's see. 25th. Nope. They're gonna leave four days before we do. Which is fine. Um, but yeah. Sieging in this game. In EU3, where you siege and you have the entire province in this game. There's multiple places you have to siege. In this province, for instance, there's the county capital, the bishopric, and the city. I have to siege all of these before I have the entire province. I can siege one, it'll be a, um... It'll have the lines, but they'll be cut off in sections. I don't really know what you have it called off. It's what you call it, section lines, I guess. Um... Yeah, they will be, like, part of the line, then part of the line, then part of the line. Instead of just being straight lines across it. Um... Actually, I can show you an, uh, an example. It'll look like this. Um, so yeah. By the way, if you don't understand what this is showing, um, if you didn't understand earlier, this is France. This is the French Kingdom right now. This is all owned by France, so it's all their color. This is also owned by France, though, so it's, um, it has the cutoff lines, even though this is part of Burgundy. Um, this is Aquitaine, but it's owned by France. But it's also showing that it's owned by me as well, I think, because this isn't owned by me, but this is French. So, um, I think this is just also showing um, what's owned by me. It's kind of a little, like, I don't really understand this part too well, because last time I checked, they didn't have these, but I guess it's just the fact that they could be mine, that this one's part of one of my duchies, and this one could be a duchy that I have. I'm guessing it's something like that, because I don't know, because this obviously is French territory, but anyways. But of course it'll be in my colors, so it'll be uh, red and yellow, I guess. Barely don't know. It's not going to be blue, I know that. I'm barely certain of that. Um, this button is like the Assault Castle button, except it's much more deadly in this game. Um, I've gone from having like 5,000 men attacking a um, fort that has like a few hundred men, and losing like half of my men. It's very dangerous. I don't. I rarely ever use it unless I have a huge, like, if I'm, unless I'm outnumbering them by a lot. Um, let's see. I think I want to. Six hundred should be fine. I don't want them to be 
sieging into my chair terrains. I mean, it should take them a while anyways, but... Well, hold on, let me see how many defenders is there. are there. I'm actually doing it fairly quickly. Hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Anyways. So 600 versus 394, or 664 versus 394. Should be good. They're asking to um, have better accommodations in prison. He's rotting. Yeah, wow, they actually were doing that really quickly. Yeah, we have a negative from across, attacking across the river. But we should win. Them across the world until they're dead. And then they'll go back up the way. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. We've got another another person. You don't it doesn't really help if you unless you catch the person that you're at war with. Um, it's fine that you cap that you capture their vassals, but I don't really think it makes too big of a difference. I don't think it applies to the war score, does it? Let's see. At least it doesn't say it outright, so I assume it doesn't. But I think if you capture the person that you're at war with, then I think you can, uh, you have 100% war score. I'm not positive on that. I'm actually not certain at all. Um, but I'm assuming that's how it works. I think I remember seeing it in a Let's Play somewhere. Granted, I could be imagining things. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, as you saw, I got a victory in here, so I captured their county capital, as you can see by my flag right there. And now we're working on the bishopric. And as you can see, it has the uh, lines. And yeah, the red and yellow, like I thought. So we captured another person. And we're gonna go... Yeah, we'll just keep chasing these guys. Taking a long time to kill. I think they might have gotten uh, some reinforcements along the way. guys, or try to. People got in the way, oh well. And we guys just got the other holding there. One more left and then we'll officially have that province completely. Let's see, they're gonna be gone, 15th will be there, and the oh, 16th. Uh, my beloved wife, Athia, I don't know, is constantly bored and keeps talking about a new fashion she has heard about. Now she wants me to introduce it at court. My money is your money. I can gain charitable, which is actually pretty good. Um, vanity is a sin. I gain zealous. Or, um, this is my money you're talking about. And I get greedy. Greedy actually isn't that bad. I get more money from greedy. But then she doesn't like me as much. Granted, in this game, it doesn't really matter if your wife likes you or not. Wait, she's celibate? Really? She's celibate? Uh, I At least she's lustful. It counter counteracts it, but still. Uh, she's celibate. We better have a son. <laughs> like, fast. I don't want my heir to be a daughter. It's, not, it's never good when your heir is a daughter. Bad things can happen. Uh, but yeah, charitable I guess is good. I wouldn't mind having greedy though. But I don't know if relations matter about us having children. I'm glad I saw that she was celibate. I might even try to get a divorce and marry someone that's better. <sighs> yeah, I'll get charitable. So plus three diplomacy. Ah, <sighs> Pope. Can I get a divorce? Please? That's not the Pope. Please. Uh... Quest divorce, why? I don't have enough piety. Uh, I have 17 piety, I need 100. This is awful. <sighs> I'm gonna go 
go up here and then come down and hope that that's faster. Because it could be. Sometimes it's faster going through certain provinces certain ways than it is to go through others other ways. 30th, 28th, yep. Cool. We'll get there two days before they leave and they should probably be there. Yep, they'll be there. Um, someone died in our court. Someone's been released from our court dungeon. Someone's no longer a guardian of someone because he died of main cripple. Uh, this person wants to kill, wants to kill someone. End your plot. That's not nice. Um, they have to marry a ruler, as if. Good luck with that. Uh, been released from prison. Released from prison. Siege. Wants to kill someone. Again, that's not nice. You shouldn't do that. No. Send gift. Now end your plot. There we go. Yeah, another person wants to marry a ruler. Good luck with that. And now we have Foy. 36% more score. We accept my demands. Let's see, he'll be gone on the 12th, and we'll be there on the 20th. Oh. I guess it takes a while to leave the mountain. Yep, ending your plots. I love how you can just do that. Ask them, hey, you should end your plot. Okay, we'll do that. That just, like, that wouldn't happen in real life. They'd say yes, but you know they really wouldn't do it. And we caught another person. Uh, you stay there. I'll just let them escape. I want to start seizing this place now. 45% more score. Will you accept my demands now? Nope. How's this battle going? Well, he's not dead yet. That's good. Someone died in our dungeon. Or dungeons, I guess. Change their flag color or territory color. I don't know why. I've seen them do that before. Oh wow, is it more already? Wow, that's fast. Usually they wait a little bit longer than that. Ulrika, I guess, decided that she wanted to rebel faster. Ulrika is um, the king of Leon's sister who always wants to rebel. Um, she holds some aura. It's. I've played as Leon before. It's kind of annoying. Oh, it was awesome when I was playing as Leon also. Castile went to war, and he died in battle. Or, Sancho. And since he died in battle, I know they're sieging. I really don't care right now. Um, since he died without an heir, I was his heir because these guys are all brothers. So I gained Castile, and then I went to war with Khaleesi, and I won that. It was awesome. But then the Muslims came and attacked me, and I died. <laughs> well, basically, like, I had a fourth of my country left, and yeah, it wasn't pretty. So after we're done sieging, that's when they go up and attack. The army and Foy. Well, first we'll see if, the, if he'll um, capitulate, but he probably won't. Nope. Come on, you're gonna be dead. The negative is they're on a mountain, so they have a huge bonus against me. But it should be fine. Let's see. And I have a huge negative from crossing the well, it's not huge, I guess, but it's a fairly large bonus. And negative penalty, I guess you could say. Ooh, we captured him, I think. No, he's just... But yeah, he is, isn't he? No, no he isn't. Wait, hold on, 
they actually can siege it? Oh wow, there's like no one defending that place, 40 people. Uh, ooh, yay, he'll capitulate. So, Count Roj... Dude, I'll gain... Or he'll become my new liege. Um, so I gain the territory. And I gain 100 prestige. Yay! So Foy is now mine, as you can see by the borders changing. And you stand down. Yay! So now, I have this dude. He's now my court. He is the... Yeah, he's a duke. Oh no, I thought that was the duke. No. Duh, that's the duke symbol. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but yeah, he's so young he has to have a uh, regent. He's eight. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if your mother tried to kill you, dude. <laughs> I've seen it happen before. Mothers trying to kill their children so they can succeed them. Yeah, so Leon, probably gonna be killed. You're at war with the. You're at war with. Oh, that's just one of them. Yeah, I think that might actually be Zamora. No, that's Zamora, I thought. Well, that's Cas. Oh, you're at war with Castile, too? Erica is, her, is his sister, but I mean. Wow. Yep, Leon is screwed. Okay. Uh, yep. So how many people do we have in prison? Two. He doesn't really mind me all that much. I'll ransom him off. And... The other guy... Eh, he can stay in there forever. And he'll die eventually. I love the messages. Like, to the great duke, to the honorable king, to the, like, awesome blah blah blah, to the magnificent, to the... And then whenever it's like your family members, it's like, to my uncle, to my father, and just like, you're not trying to please me nearly enough as the other people. They all say, like, to the magnificent, to the awesome, to the... All powerful. I don't. I've never seen all powerful. That I wouldn't be surprised. To the honorable, and then your family members just like, to my father, to my uncle, to my nephew. It's just like, I know we're family members and all, but I am a king. Maybe you should try and be a little bit nicer. Yeah, I hope William succeeds. He should. He's supposed to succeed. But I don't know. I'm just really worried because I'm in France right now and I want to form Aquitaine, but I don't want it to lose. Um, peddlers selling all sorts of food, clothing, exotic spices, and luxuries such as glass and jewels filled the town square with their wares and shouts. There are things I need, I'll get spending money, which means I lose stewardship, but people like me more. That's cool. Um, I don't like the merchants, but their wares are fine. 50% chance I get shy, and 50% chance I gain to prestige. Don't really like that. Fairs are fun for all, I can gain stressed or kind, I don't, stress is not good at all, you can die from stressed, so. Um, I think fairs should be banned. I do not think fairs should be banned. It's only 10 gold, I lose one stewardship for a year, or not even for a year, a few months, and um, people like me more. That's awesome. Speaking of people liking me, um, what are my vassals' opinion of me? There's one that doesn't like me. And he doesn't like me a lot. Um... Dude, ah, uh, why? Giving a gift won't do anything. I hate him too. Why do we hate each other? Uh, cause he's a foreigner. He's zealous, or yeah, he's zealous. I think I'm cynical, aren't I? Uh, yep, I'm cynical. But yeah, so he's zealous. Um, he doesn't like me because I have a female heir. I'm a foreigner. Um, I he desires the Duchy of Pato. I think that's how you pronounce that. He's am oh, he's ambitious. I hate ambitious vassals. Ambitious vassals always revolt. Always revolt. It's so annoying. Can I imprison you? I could probably, but I mean, people would like me less. Yep. Your subject's opinion of you by negative 40. I have 68 percent There's a chance to do it though, but uh, why do you have to be ambitious? Because I want to change my laws. Yeah, I didn't think I had gavelkind. I want primogeniture. I think I can still do it even though I'm not a kingdom. 
Because I know I've done it in Ireland before without being a kingdom, but I don't know how it works when I'm part of a kingdom. So maybe it works differently, but... I don't know. It probably won't work. I probably would have to declare my independence. Uh, I guess one thing I can talk about there is, um... In this game, there's different, uh... Lines of nobility. You can only play as nobles, by the way. You can only the lowest you can play as a count or an earl. Um, they're an earl. They're an earl. 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 Or count. They're just called an earl because they're in Ireland. That's a count. That's a count. Um, that's a count. Huh? Scotland's having problems. Uh, so anyway, so basically, whenever you just have one province, you're a count um, most of the time. Oh, the, Fran the French have gone to war with um, Amir Abd Allah I of Tripolitania. Huh, Tripoli? Hmm. I mean, they usually take Tripoli eventually, but I thought they usually went for Sardinia. Oh, the HRE went for Sardinia. Huh. Anyway, so yeah. Um, I'm a duke because I have a, I, I have a duchy. Um, mainly I have the duchy of Aquitaine, but of course I also have Puto. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, Philippe just took a bunch of my units and all the other units everywhere because, um, I wasn't using them. And he needs them for the war against Tripolitania, which I'll probably just call Tripoli. Yeah, so my main duchy is, um, Aquitaine. Let me just see what exactly where exactly is Aquitaine. I think I know what it looks like. Yeah, okay, that. I, I kept putting that, that in for some reason. Yes, this is Aquitaine. Um, so that's my main, that's like, that's my title. I also have titles for the other duchies as well, but they're not my main titles. Like, the, the main title that I hold is the, I'm the Duke of Aquitaine. Even though I'm also the Duke of Koto, I think, or whatever I was pronouncing it as. And, um, Gascon. My main is Aquitaine. Is it Aquitaine? Aquitania? I don't... I don't know. If any of you know French, feel free to enlighten me. I don't know French at all. I know how to pronounce Spanish. Fine. I know how to pronounce English. Decent. Um... Even though I'm not good at speaking it, as you've heard before. Um... But French, it's just like... Yeah. I, I know the two on the... I know the ones on the opposite, opposite sides of French. Of, of France. I know a little bit of German, because I have a friend who speaks German, so I've learned a little bit from him, but I mean, barely any. But I still know how to pronounce German names more than I do French names. Oh, you want to kill someone. That's not good. I think someone else did earlier, too. I can just check it. Um, so, known plots, yep. Oh, that was the same person. Yep, so, um, in Dax, really, really, okay, um, yeah, my personality is not enough. Okay, everyone go to Dax. I could have them meet him somewhere else first, but, eh, I don't really feel like it. I hope I don't lose that, it's not just good to lose battles, obviously. I lost all well. How did my steward die? Uh, it doesn't say. Uh, hopefully there's a better guy. I don't know how good he was before, but hopefully that guy's better. He doesn't revolt for some point. They're just like a waste of time, usually. Check There's a bit of one there. Um, not leading troops. Yeah, I'm not leading troops. What are you talking about? I, I, 
there is no military of mine out. Is there? Not that I know of. I don't know of my military being out. I mean, I know he called upon my vassal. Uh, do I, am I out, technically? Am I leading troops in the battle somewhere? See if I'm in, if I'm there without knowing. Not that I know of. I mean, I guess I could be. But yeah, anyways, um, revolt risk. I want you to suppress your revolts. It's a little high for me. It's only 5.5%, I guess, but. Maybe he is leading troops. Yep. Okay. In Arborea. Arborea. In Cagliari. Where are you, dude? <laughs> I don't even know. Who's your liege? I'm your liege. What are you doing? I don't even know what this guy's doing. I guess he's part of the French army, attacking somewhere. Where? I have no clue. Oh, that's the lamest flag ever. I'm I'm ashamed to have you as part of my holdings. That's the lamest flag ever. I mean seriously. What should our flag be? Red. That's just that's lame. Come on. Be original. At least a little bit. At least ours has like a lion thing on it. But really just red. That's all it is, it's just red. That's lame. At least France has, like, blue with random crap in it. I don't even know what those are. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, red. What kind of flag is that? I'm ashamed of you, Marsan. And you, Anair. See, I mean, at least these guys, you know, it's yellow with, like, bulls in it. White with a red lion. You know, that's something that, like, looks regal. You know, with... I don't even know what the hell that thing is. Like a cat, maybe a tiger. But in red, just just red, dude. You need to redesign your flag or something. I mean, I know he doesn't have, he doesn't like say what his flag looks like, but still, ah, comatose. Um, people dying, someone dying. Dude, Philippe, you're killing all of my people. Well, they're probably not all mine. It's probably just random people in France as well, but still. Yeah, I know I did that. Just red. I mean, seriously, who just red? Who does that? What should our flag be? Red. That's stupid. <laughs> I really don't care this much. It's just fun to draw it out like this. Um. Yeah, Leon is just being wrecked. Zamora even apparently. No, Zamora succeeded. Their capital is Zamora now. Um, Your Grace, yeah, in blood. But Castile's still going to war with them? Really? <laughs> I'm confused now. So, I guess it was Nurika that joined, that called him in. So, and Galicia's at war now too, so Leon, I, I don't even know what happened. What? Limousine, limousine, limousine. Okay. Or I'll try to speak French for quoi. I don't I don't even know. Um I just add like wa to the end of things, and I assume it's French. Um So pour que, Spanish, why? Make it French, pour quoi. Easy. <laughs> Probably sounds so mean, I don't know. I don't know French, I'm sorry. Here, I'll say why in French, why in French. There we go. That's better. I am, I am, I really am sorry. If I knew French, maybe I'd say a little bit of French while I was playing this. I have no clue how to speak French, though. It's like, it's like another language to me. Oh, it is another language. Oh, that makes more sense now. I do like the tabards in this, like the insignia on the shields and the tabards actually do change depending on who's leading the armies. 
It's kind of fun. Really, you're already pissed off a little bit. I'm sorry I had your vassals out for two days. I'll send them back. Red flag. Who does that? I'm gonna hold a grudge against this guy's dynasty for the rest of the game. I'll remember. See, your dynasty's flag is cool. House de Marsan. But your flag, your county flag is awful. I'm gonna hold a grudge against the House de Marsan forever. Forever. I'm gonna remember, like, I'm gonna be... I'm, I'm gonna pretend that I'm gonna end up doing well in this game. I'm gonna be Aquitaine. I'm gonna have all of where France is, but it's gonna have Aquitaine on it. I'm gonna have Brittany. I'm gonna have, like, all of Ireland, all of Norway. I'll have all of the Iberian Peninsula. I'll have conquered the HRE. I doubt that, but let's pretend. Oh, they seceded. Go them. Less for me to worry about. Granted, we're at war with them, and we're losing, actually. Awesome. I want to be losing. I want them to win. <laughs> Less for me to worry about right now. You'll be dead soon. Or, not soon, but you'll be dead eventually. Once I'm Aquitaine and I take you over. But, you know, that's not yet. Um... And William's taking quite a while. I thought he usually won by now. I mean, he's winning, but... As you can see, this is all his... This is Norway, though. So Norway, Norway has York. Um, Leicester, I think is what that is, right? Yeah, Leicester. Um, Lincoln and Northampton. Er, yeah, Northampton. Yeah, Nor Northampton, yeah. It just sounds weird, Northampton. Yeah, so go go uh Flanders. Yeah, Flanders. Oh come on, get a claim there. I mean I know it'll cost me a lot of money and prestige, but I mean still, I want it. I want to though. Again, sorry if I'm just butchering the French names. But still, it's red. It's it's just red. Okay, that's not that is my that's my excuse from now on actually. It's just it's because one of the flags in, in France are just red. It's just red. I mean it's just red. That's awful. Uncreative. So I'm gonna butcher their language until it's not just red. Okay, that's a lie. I'm gonna keep butchering the language until I learn French. Which is never gonna be. Because I'm in America. There's no point in learning French unless you're gonna move to like France or Maybe England, maybe Spain, because they're close to them. But I mean, when you live in America, it's kind of pointless to learn any language besides Spanish, and of course English. Yes! They won. Cool. Less of France to worry about. Flanders better win. England is now part of Normandy. And... Ah, it's going to be amazing. I'm going to be succeeding. I'll form Aquitaine, I'll have all this land, and I'll destroy France, and I will become the King of France and the King of Aquitaine, and it'll be amazing. Let's finish the conversation I was talking about earlier. I'm a duke, <laughs> but there are also kings. They basically control a bunch of duchies and have vassals that control duchies. Um, so the King of France is all of, he controls all of this even though it's not direct. King William the First of England got King Felipe or Felipe Philippe. Thank you, Spanish. King Philippe. Well, in Spanish there would be a double P, but <laughs> so King William. Why doesn't say the Conqueror? Isn't he the Conqueror? He should be the Conqueror. He is. Um, so King William got King Philippe excommunicated. Awesome. Uh, this is amazing. I hope he doesn't conquer it, France, though, because. That's not acceptable. But, yeah, this is cool. Yeah, so, kings just basically control a bunch of duchies. And then there's emperors. Who, you can't, you can't create an empire. You can create a kingdom, you can create duchies, you can create counties. But you, well, you can't create counties, but you can create duchies. Um, but you can create empires. The only empires in the game is the Holy Roman Empire, the 
the Byzantine Empire, and I think there's one Muslim Empire somewhere, but I forget where it's the Well, they're not Muslim, are they? Maybe they are. No, they're big. Okay, there's a Muslim Empire somewhere. Seeing it, maybe I'm imagining things, but I could have sworn there was. Um, but yeah, so the only two empires that I know of that I know for certain the HRE and the Byzantine Empire. So the only way to become an emperor in this game is get really good relations with the Pope and attack one of the empires, and mainly the Holy Roman Empire. Um, and you claim the Holy Roman Empire is yours, and you can make that your main title, and then say you have like everywhere from here on this way it'll all become the Holy Roman Empire and you'll be the Holy Roman Emperor Emperor and you'll have the cool little crown and the cool little gold ring with purple ribbon which I think is the coolest looking one personally second is the Duke one I feel silver ring with a blue ribbon but of course um, purple's my favorite color so that's why I think that's the coolest looking <clears throat> and the king one's just lame. I mean, look at it, just a gold ring. I mean, yeah, it's gold, but I mean, it doesn't have anything fancy on it. It's just a gold ring. And the count one looks awful. Um, if I can find a count. I don't see anyone who's just a count. I should have someone. Maybe it's not the count one, but it's... Covering. Oh, it means they're... It means they just control a, uh holding, I guess. So yeah, that one's the worst one. It's just like a copper ring. And, well, it's a copper ring. Maybe it's bronze. I don't know. Probably copper. I guess it... Yeah, no, it's probably just copper. Oh, we're winning now. Flanders. Flanders. Survive. I don't want to worry about conquering you. And I become Aquitaine. I'm trying to look... Po I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to pretend like I'm going to win. I did not know I had these guys out. Yeah. <laughs> He's pissed at me. He's just like, Dude, you just have my vassals out just standing here. Ah! I didn't even realize they were out. There's no one else out, are they? Okay, no. It feels really empowering starting out with such a big territory, even though I'm part of a kingdom. Like, I mean, Leon, of course, always has these problems, and I usually start as Leon when I try to go down here. Never turns out well. Beha! I did not I just noticed that. Beha just took it. They were Badahos before Oh Galicia, wow. Yeah, these were Badahos and then Badahos goes through so many different iterations. They're Badahos and they're green, then they become Badahos and they're brown, and then they turn into Beha and they're brown. It's just like guys just decide. <laughs> and Galicia just changed colors too, they're now Leon, apparently. He decided that his main holding was gonna be Leon now. His main title's the King of Leon instead of the King of Galicia. Galicia sent well no, actually I like Leon better. It's, it's more fun to pronounce Leon as opposed to Galicia and the Castile. I don't understand Castile. Like, how is it Castile? Why isn't it, why isn't it Castille? Or Castille or something. Like, Castille, I guess, yeah. Because, I mean, it, I know it's not Castille. But I'm fairly certain no one ever pronounces it that way. But in Spanish, a double L is a yes sound. So did they not speak Spanish at this point? I thought they did, but maybe not. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. Um, so yeah. Guardian. So I got someone dying in battle. Is my dude still in battle? He is. I'm 50 now. I still haven't... My wife still hasn't been pregnant. Seriously. Have babies. She's not... Wait, she's not even... She's not lustful anymore. You're celibate? You're celibate? Ah! <sighs> You're seriously celibate? Are you joking? Ah! That's so annoying. I have a daughter. You expect me to see... For my daughter su to succeed and rule the kingdom of Aquitaine. That's not gonna happen. Uh, it's not good to have a female ruler. It really isn't. It's not. It's not awful, but it's not that great. It's 
a lot of bad things can happen, and uh, people won't respect you, and... <sighs> Seriously... As you can see, celibate, negative 1,000% fertility. Pope, dude, seriously, please, please, divorce. Ha, ah, I don't have enough piety, I don't have, I need more piety. Ah, I need to, I need, I need to, I think I know what I can do. Do I have enough money? Can I buy an indulg indulgence? How much does it cost? I could buy one. I have, I have a decent bit of money. How much should... I, I think that increases piety. It should have. Maybe it didn't. Am I imagining things? Does it not do that? I need a new wife. <laughs> I really need a new wife. Yes! So we lose 52.6 we got 25 piety. 25 pi- <sighs> Pope, dude. Hook me up with 50 more piety. Ah. Seriously. I need a new wife before I die, which is going to be soon. I don't know what to do. The only other thing I can do is attack some Muslims or some pagans. We are at war with this guy. <laughs> no, I'm not going to war with him. I'm not attacking him. Are you crazy? No. We're with Denmark? Yeah. Uh. Ah, this is so annoying. <sighs> I need more piety. I seriously cannot have a wife that's celibate. She's freaking celibate. She started out being lustful, and now she's celibate. I mean, seriously, I need a son. <sighs> Ugh, this is so annoying. I want a Muslim army to just start marching through here, and I just build up my army and attack them, and I gain piety because from that. Uh, how much piety am I gaining? Not even one full piety a month. Uh, I gain like one a year. I'm cynical, so I'm losing point two, and I don't know how to gain more piety per month. If I get these people to like me more, I mean, they already like me quite a bit. Yeah, they all like me more than they do the Pope, so I actually could make an anti-Pope, couldn't I? Oh no, I need a lot of prestige. Anti-Pope is basically the exact same thing as a pope, except, um, people, like, join your papacy instead of the pope's papacy, I think, um, and they'll pay their taxes to you, like other churches will, if they like you enough and stuff like that. This is so annoying. I need more piety. I could buy another indulgence. Oh, uh, I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, I need money, but I have plenty right now. <sighs> I'm gonna do it. I I need piety. I need piety. I I can't have my wife. She's celibate. She's celibate. Ah, it's almost as bad as the red flag. Not as bad, but it's almost as bad. <sighs> so close. I need 20 more piety. I'll buy one more, one more, uh, one more indulgence. Indul the idea of an indulgence is stupid anyway. I mean, I I don't believe in God anyways, but I mean, I just, so I mean, just the idea of being sinful for just being you. I mean, I guess it's true. I mean, everyone does, everyone is evil in their own way either way. But I mean, just like, I mean, just the idea of an indulgence any anyway is just stupid. It's just like, if you buy this piece of paper, all of your sins are cleared away. I mean, isn't like in the Catholic religion, like I know there's Christianity and Catholic and there's like Baptist and there's this other one and this one and this one and there's the ones that believe that Jesus is their God. Okay. Um, that was probably a little mean. <laughs> that believes that Jesus is their God, no. But, um, yeah, so isn't it like with Catholics, they like go to like some booth and they talk and they're like, 
forgive me, for I have sinned, because I did this, and I said, I said a naughty word to this one person, and blah 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 blah, and then they're like, okay, well now you have to go do these things, and your sins will be absolved. Isn't that what they do? And then it's just like, with indulgences, it's just like, you don't have to go do this, you just pay us 2,000 mo- 2,000 gold, and then all your sins are absolved. I think that's what it's like, right? Maybe. I mean, if, don't, I, I'm sure you guys know much better than I do, considering I would assume a majority of, ooh, more time, more time. Anyways, um, I'd assume a majority of you are religious, but maybe not. Um, but yeah, so, I think that's how it works, right? Like, you say, like, I've done this, I did this bad, I did this bad, and then they're like, okay, well then go outside and it's like, don't you like chant something, or you like do some sort of physical labor for the church or something like that? I don't, I doubt it's physical labor, but it might be, I don't, I really have no clue. I, I think it might be like you chant something and then it's just like, Yay, you chanted such and such five million times. Your sins have been absolved. Yay. I, I, I'm I sorry if that sounds a little mean. I don't really mean to offend anyone, it's just I think it's kind of stupid. I mean... Hold on, I'm going to cut the video because I feel like going on a rant about my views on religion. I'm going to make a completely new video labeling my rant on religion and I will if none of you want to watch it, do not watch the next video. I'll say this at the beginning of the next video. If you don't want to listen to me ranting on religion, then don't. But I'm in the mood to rant on, rant on religion now. What the hell happened over here? They're just... Venezia is just their own little place. I hope they're part of the HRE. Glory to God. Yay. Anyways, I'm in a ranting mood. Um, so I'm going to rant on religion. Again, if none of you want to watch it, it's perfectly fine by me, but I feel like ranting on religion, on my views on it, and if you want to yell at me in the comments in the next video saying like, you're stupid and religion is right because of blah 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 and blah 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 and blah 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 blah, blah then feel free to. I don't care. I'll be back. Okay, we're back to this. Um, I'm not going to be recording for too much longer, I just edited the videos I did before. And the game's lagging for whatever reason, um, but I'm really just making this to, um, apologize really quickly, um, no, and also apologize for the, uh, for the sound quality. I didn't realize how loud the music was, um, sorry about that. But, um, about towards the end, or not towards the end, at the end of the second session, um, I ended up ending it because I felt like I was insulting people too much, and I'm really, really sorry if I did, um, as I put in the captions. I really did not mean to, um, I just was sharing my beliefs, and then I went back and realized that I probably should refrain from doing so forever, frankly. I don't like insulting people, I don't like being mean, and I feel like I probably did insult quite a few people from, um, making fun of Catholicism and uh, Christianity a bit. Wow, England is a wreck. Anyways, um, see, I'm really, really sorry. Um, but, I, again, I didn't really mean it. Um, feel free to just ignore everything that I say about my views on religion. Um, I, I, again, I really don't like making, or insulting people, and I don't like making them uh, feel angry towards me. I don't like, I don't like being mean. I don't like being mean at all. Um, so again, if you got insulted, I'm really, really sorry. Um, but again, just, I, I meant it, sure, but I didn't want people to get angry. And I have a feeling I probably insulted a few people and got some people angry. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take back what I said. Um, I mean everything that I said, I just, again, I really, 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 really don't like insulting people, and I probably should refrain from sharing my beliefs, um, so again, I'm very, very sorry that I said what I said, and I will try to refrain from doing so, um, it still doesn't mean that I'm not clueless about how Catholicism works, and their, um, their whole, like, um, absolvement of sins. If you know what that is, feel free to share. 
I'm still interested. Um, but yeah, again, for like the seventh time, eighth time, twentieth time, I'm very, very, very sorry that I insulted you, because I'm sure I insulted at least someone. Um, but again, I'm not going to take back what I said, but I really did not mean to insult people, and I'm fairly certain I did. I really don't know yet, because I haven't uploaded the videos, and frankly, people will comment on my videos anyway for me to know if I do. But, um, I'll try to refrain from, uh, making fun of religion. Um, it's not... It, I don't really mean to make fun of it, it's just some of it seems silly. I'm not going to get into it. But, um, again, I'm very, 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 very sorry. I did not mean to insult anyone. Another thing, but I'll probably add this to the uh, end of the second one, the second session, so... This is going to be on the, the end of the second episode. So again, I am very, 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 very sorry. If at least one of you could comment just saying, it's fine, I was a little angry, but I'm not anymore, something along those lines, I... please do. <laughs> um, if you feel that way, at least, because that, that would take a load off, because I really do feel bad. Did they claim... Came, didn't he, he, claim more territory? I think they might have. Did they have that problem? Um, uh, but yeah, if any of you could, and you actually do feel that way, please do. I really feel bad. Um, so any sort of, like, even like a PM or something, I really don't care. Just, like, some sort of, like, gratifying, like, it's okay, it didn't really insult me that bad, or you made it for it, it's fine. I mean, I really do feel bad. I don't, I don't want I, I don't like being mean. Um, I have... I'm not gonna get into that. Never mind. Um, but yeah, so, uh, just please, please, just give me some sort of message, or like, hey, dude, it's okay. You didn't... You weren't too... You weren't too mean about it. It wasn't really too insulting. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Just please. <laughs> that, that's all I'm asking. Just, like, one comment to say that, and I'll feel good. Um... Anyways, that's all for now. I, again, I'm very, very sorry, but um, I'll, I'll try to refrain from sharing my uh, religious beliefs. Because, well, I have them. But, well, I do, technically. Not believing is believing and not believing. Anyways, I'm not going to get into that paradox. Um, is it a paradox? I might think it might be a paradox. Kind of like how nothing is still a thing, even because it's an absence of things. And since it's an absence of things, it's a thing that you can describe. And if you can describe it, then it's a thing. I'm not going to get into that right now. Because I can talk, like, an hour about how nothing is a thing. I've done it before. I just didn't post the video. Um, anyways. That's all for now. Again, really, really sorry. Um, hope none of you were too insulted. Or angry. Next time, we'll be conquering Aquitaine. Or this part, and then declaring ourselves Aquitaine. And it'll be awesome. And... 